الحمد لله حمدا كثيرا طيبا مباركا فيه كما يحب ربنا ويرضى أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله الناصح الأمين اللهم صل على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين ومن تمسك بسنته إلى يوم الدين ثم أما بعد يا عباد الله التوحيد أهم شيء في حياة المسلم التوحيد is the most important thing in the life of a Muslim we continue with going on going over the anwa of ibadah the categories of worship and we have reached الاستغاثة الاستغاثة وقال الشيخ صالح حوزان حضر الله تعالى الاستغاثة نور من الاستعانة ولكنها أخص الاستغاثة is actually from الاستعانة it's a type of الاستعانة and as a review we explain that الاستعانة طلب العون it means to seek aid, help and assistance to seek aid, help, and assistance. So you'll find that al-istighatha is a type of seeking of aid, help, and assistance. For istighatha, aam, wa istighatha, khasa. But you will find that al-istighatha, it is general. Whereas al-istighatha, it is specific. It's more specific. لِأَنَّهَا This is because al-istighatha, لِأَنَّهَا لَا تَكُونَ إِلَّا في أمور الشدة because الاستغاثة it is not except in issues of extreme difficulty it is not except in situations of extreme difficulty and hardship Allah Ta'ala he says إذ تستغيثوا إذ إذ تستغيثون ربكم فاستجاب لكم Allah Ta'ala he says and when you asked or when you sought for help, aid, and assistance in a time of peril with your Lord, and He answered you. وَإِذْ تَسْتَغِيثُونَ رَبَّكُمْ And when you sought aid, help, and assistance in times of peril with your Lord, فَاسْتَجَابَ لَكُمْ He answered you. وَهَذَا فِي وَقْعَةِ الْبَدْرِ And this was in the situation of Al-Badr, the battle of Badr. لَمَّا اشْتَدَّ الْأَمْرِ بِالْمُسْلِمِينَ when the affair became difficult upon the Muslims, and we all know the difficulty that came upon the Muslims on the day of Badr, and how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave them victory, when they turned to Him in times of peril, when they turned to Him in this time of difficulty, of extreme difficulty, they turned to Allah, asking His help, His aid, His assistance, Allah ta'ala, He answered their requests, and Allah ta'ala, He gave them aid, He gave them help, He gave them assistance, He gave them victory, over those who were trying to destroy the Muslims. Even ya ibadullah. Istighafu bi rabbihim. They sought for help, aid, and assistance in times of peril with their Lord. Walakinnaha akhassu min al-isti'ana li annaha la takun illa fi hali shiddah. But you will find that al-isti'afa, it is more specific than al-isti'ana because al-isti'afa, it only happens in times of extreme difficulty. فَيَجِبُ الْإِخْلَاصُ الْإِسْتِغَاثَ لِلَّهِ تَعَالَى So we have to be sincere in seeking of help, aid, and assistance in times of peril from only Allah Ta'ala. وَلَا يَجُوزُ And it is not permissible. الْإِسْتِغَاثَ بِالْأَمْوَاتِ It is not permissible to seek the aid, to seek the aid, help, and assistance from those who are dead. It is not permissible to seek the aid help and assistance in times of peril from those who are dead. مَحْمَ مَنْ كَانْ No matter who they may be, it is not permissible. وَكَثِيرٌ مِنْ مَنْ يَدْعُونَ الْإِسْلَامِ But you will find many of those who they claim Islam. إِذَا وَقِعُوا فِي شِدَّةِ يَسْتَغِيثُونَ بِأَمْوَاتِهِمْ وَأَوْلِيَائِهِمْ You will find many who claim a connection to Al-Islam. When they put in perils, or they put in situations of peril, and grave difficulty and the like, you will find that they're seeking of aid, help and assistance during these times of peril with those who are dead. 
or from those who they deem as being their saints. And you will find this is rampant, وَعِيَادُ billah. That in times of peril, they will seek of aid and help and assistance with Abdul Qadir al-Jalani. Or they will seek for aid, help and assistance with Sayyid al-Badawi. Or they will seek aid, help and assistance with whoever from whoever, from those who are dead, and for those whom they deem to be their awliya. And this is not permissible. وَلَكِنْ هَذَا مِنْ بَابِ الشِّرْكِ But rather this is from shirk. بَابِ شِرْكِ akbar. But this is from major shirk. Not minor shirk, this is from major shirk. The Shaykh he goes on and he says, يَسْرُخُونَ بِأَسْمَائِهِمْ They will call out with their names. فِي الْبَرِّ وَالْبَحْرِ Inside of the land and inside of the sea. They will shout out with their names inside of the land or inside of the sea. The Shaykh he goes on and he says, وَهَذَا مِنْ غِلْدَةِ شِرْكِهِمْ And this is from the thickness, this is from the extent and the extremism of their shirk. فَصَارُوا أَغْلَفُوا شِرْكًا مِنَ الْأَوَّلِينَ So you find, unfortunately, that they commit more shirk than the first people. They commit more shirk than the polytheists of old. They are more polytheistic than the polytheists of old, than the pagans of old, whom Allah Ta'ala tells us about them. فَإِذَا رَكِبُوا فِي الْفُلْكِ دَعُوا اللَّهَ مُخْلِصِينَ لَهُ الدين. And when they are in the boats, when they're traveling in the ships inside of the ocean, and it gets rough, it gets tough, the turbulence and the like, you find that they are they single Allah out alone. They single out Allah alone in their dua. They single out Allah alone, as Allah Ta'ala says, مُخْلِسِينَ لَهُ الدِّينَ Singling out Allah alone in their supplication. The istighatha for those ones, those polytheists, was to Allah alone in times of peril. Then Allah Ta'ala says, فَلَمَّا نَجَّاهُمْ إِلَى الْبَرِّ But when we gave them safe passage to the shores, when we gave them safe passage to the land, إِذَا هُمْ يُشْرِكُونَ Then they will make shirk. Then they will make shirk. So you find that the mushrikun, the polytheists from the past, the shirk that they used to do was behind al-rakha, was when they were in good times, pleasant times. وَلَكِنَّهُمْ فِي حَالِ الشِّدَّةِ يُخْلِصُونَ الدُّعَاءَ لِلَّهِ تَعَالَى But in times of extreme peril, they will make their dua only for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So you find that these ones nowadays who attach themselves, claim al-Islam, but who will make istighatha لِغَيْرِ اللَّهِ but they will seek for aid and help and assistance in times of peril with other than Allah. They are more polytheistic than the polytheists of old. And we ask Allah Ta'ala to save us from the likes of this. We ask Allah Ta'ala to make us of those who are sincere to Him in all aspects of their religion. Those who are sincere to Him in every category, every type, every form of worship. We ask Allah Ta'ala to make us of those who are truly those who implement the Tawheed and of those who stay away from shirk in every which way, shape, and form. هذا أقول ما تسمعون فاستغفر الله لي ولكم ولجميع المسلمين فاستغفروه فإنه هو الغفور الرحيم. بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وبعد والذبح القرباني likewise from the أنواع of العبادة is the slaughtering seeking to gain close to الله تعالى this is from عبادة the Shaykh explains he says والذبح على قسمين and slaughterings upon two types. Qism al-awwal, the first type, al-dabh, lil-akl al is the slaughtering to eat meat. Slaughtering to eat meat. Naam. Because it's from the deen of al-Islam that we eat meat. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he ate meat. So it's from the deen of al-Islam to eat meat. It's not from the deen of al-Islam to be a vegetarian, to be a vegan, and so on and so forth. But rather you will find this is from the deen of al-Islam to eat meat in moderation, from time to time, to eat meat. So much so that it comes in narration of the Prophet ﷺ where he mentions that those who don't eat meat, 
Huh? And then he says, مَنَقِبَ عَنْ سُنَّةِ وَلَيْسَ مِنِّي And those who seek and desire other than my sunnah, they are not from me. أَلَا كُلِّ حَالِ So as to eat the meat, we slaughter the animals. هَذَا مُبَاح لَيْسَ هُوَ عِبَادَ Then this is permissible, it's not considered an ibad. نعم, it's not considered an ibad. فَهُوَ مُبَاح إِلَّا أَنَّهُ لَبُدَّ أَنْ يُذْكَرَ عَلَيْهِ اسْمُ الله But we have to mention Allah's name over that which we slaughter, even when the intention is to slaughter it, so as to feed the people. Naam. As Allah Ta'ala says, لا تأكلوا مما لم يذكر اسم الله عليه And do not eat from that which Allah's name has not been mentioned over it. والنوع الثاني, and the second type, ذبح على وجه تقرب إلى الله تعالى It is the slaughtering with the intention to draw near to Allah سبحانه وتعالى فهذا النوع من أنواع العبادة So this is a type and a category from the categories of worship مثل as the shaykh he says كذبح الضاحي Like the slaughtering we do يوم الأضحى عيد الأضحى نعم وذبح الهج And the slaughtering that is done inside of hajj وذبح العقيقة للمولود And likewise the ذبح The slaughtering that is done for the عقيقة For the born baby For the baby that was born هذه ذبائح These type of slaughterings عبادة They are عبادة ولا يجوز التقرب بها It is not permissible To try to seek nearness By way of them إلا لله عز وجل Except nearness to Allah عز وجل فَمَنْ ذَبَحَ لِغَيْرِ اللَّهِ عَلَى وَجْهِ التَّقَرُّبِ فَإِنَّهُ يَكُونُ مُشْرِكًا شِرْكِ الْأَكْبَرُ But the one who slaughters for other than Allah with the intention to draw close to that particular thing, then you will find that this individual has committed major shirk with Allah Ta'ala. This individual is a mushrik, is a polytheist who has committed major shirk with Allah Ta'ala. Allah Ta'ala, He tells us, قُلْ Say to them, إِنَّ الصَّلَاةِ وَنُسُكِ وَمَحْيَايَ وَمَمَاتِ لِلَّهِ And say to them that verily my prayer and my slaughtering and my life and my death لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ It is all for Allah, the Lord of all that exists. And Allah Ta'ala, He says فَصَلِّي لِرَبِّكَ وَنْحَوْ And pray, make the salah sincerely to Allah and slaughtering sincerely to Allah. So you find, ya ibad, that the salah has been linked to the slaughtering. So just as the slaughtering belongs to Allah, or just as the salah belongs to Allah, then likewise the slaughtering belongs to Allah Jalla wa'ala. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said in the hadith, لعن الله لعن الله من ذبح لغير الله Allah's curse is on the one who slaughters for other than Allah. Allah's curse is on the one who slaughters for other than Allah. ثُمَّ قَالَ النَّبِيُّ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ And the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم, he goes on to say, لَعَنَ اللَّهِ مَنْ لَعَنَ وَالِدَيْهِ And the curse of Allah is upon the one who curses his parents. اِسْتَمِعُوا Listen, the curse of Allah is upon the one who curses his parents. So all oh, children, everyone who has a parent, everyone who has parents, let them not curse their parents. Because the curse of Allah is upon the one who curses his parents. The Prophet ﷺ, he goes on to say, Allah مَنْ آوِي مُحْدِثًا And the curse of Allah is upon the one who harbors, who shelters a criminal. Stemiru. I want you to listen up now. Especially you youth who have this twisted, characteristic mentality of not snitching. This characteristic mentality of not ratting people out. That this is from something that is praiseworthy. That you don't snitch on somebody. You don't rat somebody out. You protect a criminal. You hide a criminal in the light. 
you shelter a criminal. Where the Prophet is saying that the curse of Allah is on the one who shelters a criminal. The curse of Allah is on the one who harbors a criminal. The curse of Allah is upon the one who shelters and aids a criminal. So let you be warned. All those individuals who are closet terrorists, let you be warned. La marhaban bikum. Then you're not welcome here. All of you closeted terrorists who want to who wanna hide the terrorists, who want to shelter the terrorists, who want to protect the terrorists, protect the criminal, hide the criminal in the light, you are not welcome. You are not welcome. La marhaban bikum. You are not welcome. Fear Allah Ta'ala. These individuals are criminals. These individuals are evil. These individuals, it is wedged upon us to inform the authorities about these individuals. Not that we show to them. Not that we harbor them. No. But that we tell on them. That we snitch on them. That we rat on them. That's the Islamic way. Not to hide some criminal. Not to hide some evil individual. Ala kulli the Prophet Sallallahu goes on and he says, لَعَنَ اللَّهَ مَنْ غَيَّرَ مَنَا الْأَرْضِ And the curse of Allah is on the one who changes and he alters the, uh, what do you say, the property boundaries. Plays games with it. Saying no, the property boundary really is 24 more feet that way so as to rob the people and take that which does not belong to them. Curse of Allah Ta'ala upon the likes of these individuals. Hadith al Sahih, Akhrajahu Muslim. Authentic hadith that has been collected by Imam Muslim. Ala kulli had. You'll find from these different things in which the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi said the curse of Allah is upon those ones. You'll find is the one who what? He slaughters for other than Allah. The one who slaughters for other than Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala. So it is not permissible, Ya Imam. That we slaughter anything for other than Allah Ta'ala. And then the Shaykh, he brings forth examples. Because the deen is a deen that is detailed. So the Shaykh, Allah Ta'ala, he brings forth examples of things that happen, things that take place, so that we know what not to do. The Shaykh, he says, So therefore, مَنْ ذَبَحَ لِغَيْرِ اللَّهِ Whoever slaughters for other than Allah can يَذْبَحَ لِلْقُبُورِ Like the one who slaughters to the graves. يَتَقَرُّبِ لَيْهِ So as to get close to the occupant of that grave. لِيَقْضُوا لَهُ حَوَائِجِ So that he may fulfill and take care of his needs and the like. And this happens. People, they take animals to the masjid of Sayyid Bedawi that contains the grave of Sayyid Bedawi and they slaughter animals there in the name of Sayyid Bedawi. وَعِيَاذُ بِاللَّهِ It happens. And in other places it happens. This is from shirk. It's not permissible. The shaykh, he mentions also out يَذْبَحُوا jinn, Or they will slaughter something for a jinn. من أجل أن لا يضره so that the jinn won't harm them so that the jinn won't hurt them and this happens and I'm pretty sure there are those of you who know of this evil polytheistic paganistic custom the shaykh says كما يفعله بعض الناس إذا نزل منزلا جديدا like what happens to some of the people when they move into a new house نعم يَذْبَحُوا jinn. They will slaughter something in honor of the jinn who they perceive was taking up residence there when it was unoccupied. From the standpoint that what? لَا يَضُرُّونَ So that the jinn don't bother them. The jinn don't hurt them. فِي هَذَا الْمَنْزِلِ inside of this house. It sounds crazy but it happens. وَيَعْذُ بِاللَّهِ وَيَذْبَحُوا عِنْدِ الْبَابِ And they kill the animal by the door. And then after that, يَرِشُوا and then they take the blood and they put it on the wall. So as to draw close to the jinn. And this is some shirk billah. The shaykh he says, or as you find also happening inside of the lands of the Muslims, or when they establish any mashru'an mil or when they some corporation, for example, some company, for example. 
They established something. They opened up a building, a grand building of their factory and their plant and the like. The Shaykh, he says, كَالْمَصَانِعِ Like a factory. يَذْبَحُوا عِنْدَ أَوْلِ الْحَرَكَةِ They will slaughter when turning on the what? The equipment. Then you find it. They will slaughter something at the turning on the equipment. Actually, what? From the standpoint that the factory goes without any difficulties, goes without a hitch, everything goes according to plan and the like. And this is from shirk wa billah. The shaykh also he says, وَكَذَلِكَ إِذَا قَامَ الْمَلِكِ مِنَ الْمُلُوكِ أَوْ الرَّئِيسِ مِنَ الرُؤَسَاء Or when there comes a new king from the kings, or there comes a president, a new president from the presidents, يَذْبَحُونَ عِنْدَ وُصُولِهِ وَالسَّلَامُ عَلَيْهِ تَعْظِيمًا لَهُ ذَرْحُ تَحِيَّةِ You will find that when they become the new king or they become the president, it is a polytheistic custom, it is a shirk custom, a paganistic custom that they will slaughter an animal. Huh? They will slaughter an animal so as to welcome the presidency or the kingship huh? in the inauguration and the like, slaughtering to honor him. A slaughter to honor him. Ta'zeeman lahu. Naam. The shaykh he says that this is not permissible. Walakin. Amma law kanu yadbahuna lahu walimatan. But if they were to kill an animal and to serve that animal at a banquet, فلابت. there's no problem with this. There's no problem with this. وَهَذَا مِنَ الْمُبَاحَاتِ And this is from that which is mubah. وَلَكِنْ يَذْبَحُونَ تَعْظِيمًا لَهُ But to ask the slaughter something, as to exalt him and to honor him like this, then la, this is from shirk. The shaykh goes on and he mentions, he says, إِذَا نَزَلَ مِنَ الطَّائِرَةِ To show the extent to show the extent that the Muslims are away from the Tawheed in this bab. He said, to the extent, either nazala ta'ira, aw nazala min as-sayara, yadbahuna taht as-sayara, aw taht ta'ira. That when the plane it lands, or he comes down over the plane, or he gets out of the car, they will actually slaughter an animal under the plane, or under the car, by the car. Slaughter an animal by the plane, and by the car, wa'iyadu billah. تعظيما لهذا الوافق so as to honor and exalt this particular envoy so as to honor and exalt this particular individual who has just arrived the shaykh he says وَهَذَا مِنَ الشِّرْكِ and this is from shirk this is from shirk لِأَنَّهُ مِنْ بَابَ التَّحِيَّةِ وَالتَّعْظِيمِ because it is from the standpoint of exaltational salutations and we don't do this مَهْمَ مَنْ كَانْ no matter who it will be we don't do this. No matter who it is, we don't do this. It's not to be done for an angel, nor for a prophet that was sent. So no doubt we're not going to do it for someone who has a lower status than them. No doubt we're not going to do it for anyone just walking around the earth right now. La, our slaughtering has to be for Allah and for Allah Jalla wa'ala alone. So let us take heed. Let us take heed, ya ibad. Let us pay attention to these examples in which the Shaykh he mentions. Let us understand that these are not but examples and not restricted to that which he mentions. But there are many ways in people they make shirk in this bab, and this is not acceptable. But as Muslims, the most important thing in our life is to establish the tawheed. And in order to establish the tawheed, then we have to learn in the mal'im, bit ta'allum. Verily, knowledge is by what? Is by seeking it. A person will acquire knowledge by seeking it. It's not going to come into your head like that. No, but you have to seek it, you have to study, you have to search. So we have to put forth an effort so that we know what to do, so that we may do it. We have to put forth an effort so that we know what not to do, so that we stay away from it. هذا يا عباد نسأل الله تعالى أن يوفقني وإياكم لما يحبه ويرضى وأن يجعلنا من الذين يستمعون قولا فيتبعون أحسنا وأن يجعلنا مباركا حيثما كنا وأن يجعلنا من من إذا أعطي شكر وإذا بطول صبر وإذا أذنب استغفر فإن هؤلاء ثلاثة عنوان سعادة أو oh الله تعالى بأعش لهم نسألك الهدى والتقى والعفاف والغنى أو oh الله بأعش to guide us and to Make us of those who bring forth righteous good deeds. To make us of those who are sufficient and they find sufficient that which they have been given. And to make us of those who are free from the people, who are free from needing of the people. We ask Allah Ta'ala with this, Ya ibad, fa'aqimu salah, fa'inna salata tanha al-fashai wal-minqarah.